intrinsic and extrinsic tightness. Intrinsic tightness. Patient will have a crush injury. There will be contractures and fibrosis of the intrinsic muscles. So the intrinsic muscles become short and tight. How do you diagnose intrinsic tightness? You will extend the MP joint and you'll find that when you extend the MP joint, flexion of the PIP will be reduced. In intrinsic tightness, when you bend the MP joint, the flexion of the PIP joint will be improved. What is Bunnell test? It is a test for the intrinsic tightness of the hand. How do you do the test? When the MP joint is an extension, the intrinsic Contracture, which is interosseous and lumbacal muscle contracture, impedes flexion of the PIP joint. When the MP joint is flexed, the PIP joint flexion increases. How do you treat that? You treat it by physiotherapy, by stretching, or by surgical release of the lateral bands. How about the extrinsic tightness? There will be limited flexion due to extensor tendon adhesions to the bone. Usually occurs in metacarpal fractures. The situation will be opposite to intrinsic tightness. So the PIP flexion will improve when you extend the MP joint. And when you flex the MP joint, you'll be unable to flex the PIP joint actively or passively because the extensor tendon is short. And when you try to flex, you lengthen the extensor tendon. When it is short, you're not going to be able to bend the finger. So how do you treat that? You treat that with therapy and atenolysis surgically. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.